portrait of Handsome Jack, before he became the torturing, mass-murdering CEO of Hyperion. Back when he was just a coder, a husband, and soon-to-be father of the aforementioned Angel. There's a hidden chamber behind that portrait. You'll have to move it out of the way. Don't worry. That button is perfectly disinfected. I never even touch it with my hands. From our findings in the vault, I believe sirens are able to imbue memories into physical objects. It may not even be a conscious effort. I recovered one of Angel's childhood toys. Start there. You are looking for a stuffed toy Thracian tetra bear. Just as cuddly as the real thing, minus the neurotoxic claws. Captain Bear, who is a bear? He is a bear. Captain Bear. Hey, Angel. Can you use this guy? Captain Bear, he eats crime. Oh, we must be eating a lot with that big belly, huh? Angel, darling, what, what's that on your arm? Did you do that? Blue! I don't know where it came from. Do you think it's pretty? Yeah, sweetheart, it's, it's real pretty. Hey, honey, can you get in here for a minute? I was correct! That was a memory from when Angel's powers first manifested. There are other items she might have interacted with. Look for an old vending machine. What's a crap asshole? What's an asshole? Oh, Angel, sorry, darn, I'm sorry I didn't see you standing there. Uh, don't say any of those words that Daddy said, okay? Okay. Is the machine broken? Yeah, looks like no candy for us. Hey, why don't you go back into the waiting room with Mommy, darling? Huh? The doctor's gonna be here any minute, okay? I think I can fix it. What the hell did you just do, Angel? Like most sirens, it seems using her powers became instinctual soon after acquiring them. She had no concept of what a phase shift even was, only that she could talk to machines, and more importantly, that they listened to her. There should be a turret somewhere in the room. Find that next. to trigger the memory. Mommy! Daddy! Help! Look, you filthy bandit. Just give us back our daughter, okay? Are you kidding? She's a freaking siren. I'm gonna be a trillionaire. You and your wife get out of here before I sick my turrets on you. Forget the kid. Go make another one. No, I want to go home! Shut up, kid, or I'll... What the? I wanna go home! But get down! No! No! that it was enough to repower that turret. That terrified girl's scars run deep. There's one more artifact. Look for a Hyperion communication satellite. Daddy, please, let me out! No can do, my sweet little angel. You're in that chair for your own good, okay? You're such an asshole! Language? Look, sweetheart, I can't let you out because of what you did to your mother, okay? I just couldn't bear it if something else happened to you. I didn't mean to. Shh, 
I know, darling. And that's why you need to stay in that chair. But I got you something. That chair is connected to the entire Hyperion network. Now you can see through every satellite we own around every planet in the sky. You've got the best view in the whole universe from that chair. We're gonna work together. You and me, kiddo. Sound good? Yeah. Okay. I love you, Angel. I love you too, Dad. Angel spent most of her life chained to Hyperion technology. With those memories, I think I have enough to fix the water purifier now. Go to Roland's rest, and I will attempt to interface with it. Executing phase shift. Ah, oh, this makes much more sense now. Angel's memories did indeed contain the information I required. It seems the Hyperion water purifier had a planned obsolescence chip inside it. I'll simply override it, and we can be done with this water chip nonsense. We did it, Vault Hunter! And all it took was reliving the traumatic childhood of a fallen angel. Let Vaughn know his water purifier is working once again. Whew! You got the water working again! That's awesome! Water slide city, baby! Ooh, slick! Wet, shiny, glistening. Oh yeah, also uh, no one's dying of thirst, so that's pretty good too.